All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time to watch another Super Blank reaction. Yes, sir. So this actually recently just came out. It is a recap of Captain America: Civil War with um, Iron Man versus Bucky and Captain America fighting in that in that last. I'm on the last fight scene in the movie. So badass, by the way. So freaking badass, man. That's that's the reason why Captain America: Civil War is one of my favorite super movies of all time. But the title itself. It is called When Captain America and Winter Soldier Beat the Hatred Out of Iron Man. So obviously it's gonna be a recap of both, you know, like I said, Iron Man beating up um, beating both Captain America and Bucky, Winter Soldier, by the way. After you know come to find out. Spoiler alert, by the way, but if not seen Civil War, nope, here comes the spoiler. Come to find out Bucky killed Tony's parents. So in the beginning of the movie. So I was like, oh wow, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I tell you, it went down. It went freaking down. So it's gonna feel really good seeing this again, man. It's one of the best fights, y'all. Like, seriously, man. I miss the Rooster Brothers directing this, honestly, and Rooster or the Rooster Brothers directing MCUs, because they brought out one of the best MCU movies of all time, that one soldier. Um, Civil War, like I said, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame was like, man, Russo Brothers were killing it, killing it for the MCU. So I'll squad for further ado, it's now time to check out Super Blank's Captain America Civil War recap. Let's get straight to it. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. So it starts off with Iron Man watching his parents get sent to the afterlife. But now it's with the new information that it was all because of the Winter Soldier. So Cap in his ear like, sure bro, oh my God. your parents. They don't even love you for real. And That's what he's that, trying Cap to go. the meanest backhand of all time. Look at this WWE ass fall. That's Super <laughs> Sam not doing shit for him. How you still get embodied like this? Seriously. So after that, the Winter Soldier came out with the whole Call of Duty loadout. Bro. <laughs> Look at his weapon. My man's got 50 attachments and it was all for nothing because <laughs> Iron Man just blasts the gun away and catches his next punch. And that's all I needed to see to know if this was a one-on-one, -on -one, the Winter Soldier would have absolutely gotten cooked. And in the next scene, they show this man, and you don't even have Zemo. to watch the movie to know he's an elite level instigator. <laughs> yeah, yeah seriously. To the shadows. Freaking he's Zemo. Some, my work here is Shoot. finished. You don't even need to see the outcome anymore. He would <laughs> have done this hundreds of times. Like, we can't forget what he did earlier in this movie. Bombed the whole building. Yeah. Killing Black Panther's dad yeah. and blamed it on the Winter Soldier. Like, he's really spinning the block on this man, putting <laughs> targets on his back, and he chance he gets but yeah he walks out knowing he's a first ballot hall of fame instigator <laughs> iron man moves his hand out the way and chokes him and starts to fly up look at this eye contact you know bro behind the mask is foaming out the mouth he yeah. lays him out on the floor puts his foot on his arm and bro if cap didn't hit him with this heavy ass frisbee the winter Damn. soldier would have been cooked the yeah, fight would have lasted been. 30 seconds and his head would have been gone yeah. after that cap pushes iron man back that shit sends him nowhere for real iron man spins the block and trucks him <laughs> causing cap to get sent lying back and tony puts the cuffs on his legs to call iso on the winter soldier yet again <laughs> And he really has his number because the Winter Soldier tried sneaking Iron Man with this uppercut and Tony just eats that shit. Then he grabs him and pins him to the wall, <laughs> again trying to blast his head off. And look at the Winter Soldier bruh, he is really not trying to leave this earth <laughs> Seriously. today. He moves his hand out the way and crushes Break it, it. Yeah, so you broke know it, yeah. Iron Man thought he was Damn. cold, whipping out a whole new weapon right in front of him. You can't see his face right now, but you know it looks something like this under that mask. But it didn't matter though because the Winter Soldier moves that thing out the way too, making the missile fire at the wall which will cause some problems later we see <laughs> captain america breaking his cuffs so the cameraman can get a shot of him doing random hero shit with explosions in the background he not doing anything for real he looks up and sees that iron man is absolutely wailing on him. but the giant ass metal pillar comes in to save the winter soldier getting that man tony stuck and now it's time for the second part of this scene yes. it starts off with cap telling him to get his ass out of here because that boy tony is not yes. he's on the hunt Yo. he tries sniping him and he barely misses Giving bro a haircut, man said a little off the top. <laughs> he dips hot. out though when Captain America comes in. Not a weak ass entrance. <laughs> Bucky dips out and sees the way out of this place. All you gotta do is one obby and he's gone. So he gets moving. Captain America just like, hey, Tony, stop right there. And Iron Man is just disrespectful because he <laughs> just tries to fly right past him. Yep. Like homie isn't right Ain't there. Having that. He gets the leg part of his suit damage and gets out of there. Turning around and blocking him off. He got Bucky in his sights, sees this man is trying to escape, and he knows he's free food. He <laughs> flies up, kicks him into the wall, and Damn. is getting ready to blast him. But here comes Cap's hero ass doing a whole backflip and 
Satan. And I'm sitting here wondering, how did he get past the wall Tony put in between them? It was just always right on time. Yep. I know this shit is annoying the hell out of Tony right now. Yeah. He's like, bro, let me finish my kill. Please. I knocked this man down like eight times. Had him right where I wanted him. You can't keep getting away with this shit. The shield reflects the attack and hits Tony back down, giving the Winter Soldier more time to get the fuck up out of there. And Brody wasted no time. Tony looks up to see that this man is 80% finished with the obby. Tries flying up again to catch up to him, but here comes this man, Captain America, with some bullshit. He <laughs> jumps off, ties the rope around his neck in midair, and pulls him down even further. Yeah, Cap yeah. gotta be the greatest you with player me. of all time. He's out here taking fall damage just for Bro to escape. This man Tony is relentless though. He starts aiming at him with the missile. Cap sees that and he tries to throw his frisbee at him. He blasts the shield away and fires the rocket to keep him trapped. And I know homie is mad right Damn. now because he was right there. He tasted freedom, <laughs> but now this shit is locked. The missile closed the hatch and now he's stuck with this fiend. All of Cap's efforts to get him out of there was lost. Now we got a box. He falls yep. down and picks up a metal pipe. He bonks Tony with it, and Tony tries getting back with a wild backhand. Tony takes the weapon out of his hand, chokes him, and starts loading up his finisher. He takes him and starts descending down. And guess who comes in and stops him for the 20th time? Captain, Captain America. Yep. Look at this man, bro. Canceled his whole animation. Completely <laughs> saves him and has him laying up there while they both fall down. Thank you, Codename uh -oh. Super. Now it's Here we go. time. So Late boy. Tony and Steve stand up from that and get to staring at each other before they start talking shit to one another. Tony, relax. He already said he was sorry. I don't care. He fucked my bitch. <laughs> Tony jumps off the top ropes and tries to hit Cap with the right, which he dodges. <laughs> and so then hits Tony with one of his own. Oh, you must have thought it was sweet out here, bitch, boy. Steve been getting out the mud in these Brooklyn trenches since the 1920s. Damn. Tony comes in with the left and then gets hit with the left, to which this is when Cap grabs onto him and starts trying to choke him. First Ultron, now Iron Man. Who's gonna tell this nigga that you can't fucking choke out metal? <laughs> that super soldier serum made everything stronger except bro's brain cells. Iron Man uses his repulsors to get Captain America off of him. Got my son Steve hit in the nene on the ground. Then goes to deck his shit but chucks up the air ball. And while all of this is happening, Bucky has been camping up top watching it all go down. So he does what any sensible person would do in this situation and gets to jumping. Using yep. Cap shield to hit him in the back paws, locks the repulsor blast. This is the part where Iron Man starts really getting beat up because he's mad about his parents mm. being murdered. Damn. They start bullying this man. And I guess it makes sense because most of the times bullying- This was a great scene, sexist. man. Look at this. Why the fuck are Damn. you mad that I'm ugly? Iron Man blasts Cap in the chest. They begin to start trading punches like Pokemon cards. And to be honest, I didn't know Tony had hands like this until Tony's blast gets Ooh. deflected all the way up. Not gonna lie, I'm Team Captain America, but re-watching this, I feel bad for Tony. <laughs> Imagine yeah. watching your parents get murdered in 4K high definition and <laughs> getting the snot beat out of you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, too. Pick a struggle. Right. Bucky punches him in the chest, setting Iron Man moonwalking backwards <laughs> and starts trying to rip his arc reactor right out of his chest. Damn. I'm thinking to myself, no way Tony be. dies right here. This can't be. I know his parents looking up right now, spectating in <laughs> this fight, disappointed as hell. You're supposed to get back for us, gang. <laughs> Until Iron Man blasts Bucky's arm clean off. Bro is in utter disbelief, had to look at his arm to make sure this is true. Ooh. Yeah, bro, you ain't Stevie Wonder. What you seen is correct. He done turned you into Sasuke Uchiha. <laughs> Until he hits him with the Mortal Kombat finisher. Get your bitch ass up Damn. out of here. Gets up and sprints at Tony. And this right here? Ooh, that scene that shot, movie, man. man. Straight that out the shot. comic book. The MCU God, just dang. don't move like this anymore, man. Right? They Seriously. Half their staff with gerbils. That's the only reason. Oh, God. Can so, that's why, man. As CGI they got nowadays. So the cameraman pans away to show Black Panther stopping Baron Zemo from sending himself to a Michael Jackson concert. <laughs> you ain't got a ticket, little bro. Come here. The cameraman has seen enough and decides to pan back and Lord have mercy. Steve <laughs> got this man Tony in an unlimited combo. Straight full court pressing, just delivering haymaker after haymaker. Hmm. You would have thought Iron Man did something to him. Tony is so baffled by the ass whooping <laughs> that he starts asking Friday for some hacks so he can <laughs> stop getting dead like a bikini bottom resident. And now... <laughs> It's time. Let's cook this nigga. 
blasts the shield away and then blocks the right. Spin move into a gut check, sending him 15 yards away. I know Steve's sick to his stomach right now. When did bro become Bruce Lee? Iron Man hits him in the ribcage into an elbow to the chin. And look at this man Tony's face. He's not playing any games. Check into a blast to the gut. Got cap on all fours hitting the all hail the king. But this is when they start talking shit to each other again. Why'd you do this, Steve? Uh, uh. Bucky know where the big booty bitches be. <laughs> so did I. Hell <laughs> no. How do you can write into a left Stupid. and toss bro to the side like the ugly best friend? And this is when they start grilling each other again. Where you got that supreme hat from, Lil Bro? I'm gate <laughs> pussy. Tony wasn't with all the selfishness, so he goes to GG Captain America. But here comes Bucky, who gets his head pumped away like a soccer ball. But that was all the distraction Cap needed to pick Tony up like a toddler and chuck him to the ground. Damn. Got his arms hitting 90 degrees on the ground. This that Batman now falls. <laughs> Steve decides it ends here getting in Cowgirl and just gets to pounding the hell out of Iron Man's Cowgirl. face using his shield as a can opener. Until he succeeds yeah. and look at the fear in Tony's eyes, Jeez. man. It's really crazy that he got dead like this. He's the one whose parents got killed. Yeah, fairly a victim. <laughs> Captain America puts the shield in his chest instead of cutting his head off, sparing his life. Gets up, walks over, picks up Bucky, and they start getting ready to leave. But Iron Man, of course, got to get the last <laughs> word in real quick. Put that shield down. My dad would have never wanted a pussy like you to have it. Yeah. Drops the shield, walks away, leaving Tony Stark there. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh boy. That that was a really good recap. Oh man. Uh, oh man. Super blank, man. I love I love how they collab together with these these breakdowns, man. Especially with Marvel MCU stuff, man. That was hilarious. That was hilarious, man. So squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to Super Blank's recap of Captain America Civil War of Tony beating up Steve and Bucky. So yeah, man. Oh boy. That <laughs> Seriously, man, that was absolute, absolute freaking such memories of seeing this again, and absolutely love the breakdown. Obviously, Super Blank is one of the, Super Blank is one of the best react um, YouTubers out there when it comes to breakdowns. Honestly, like I, I man, I just so glad I got a chance to see their videos, videos for the first time for months ago. So yes, I definitely enjoy it. W video, of course. So Squad, I have one more video I for y'all. So I'm going to watch the official trailer. Of our guy from the first time. This comes from the director Matthew Vaughn, who directed the Kingsman movies. So I'm definitely excited to say this, man, because I love the first Kingsman. So, Hot Squad, without further ado, please stay tuned because I have my reaction for the official Argyle in a few moments. And of course, stay tight.